Hello there and welcome. Since I started creating my tutorials, some of you have asked me about my color theme in Visual Studio. So the color theme that I have is just something custom that I've created. Obviously, when you download and you install Visual Studio for the first time, this is not the colors you're going to get but I'm going to show you exactly how you can change these colors, how you can set a different theme, and also how you can get the exact colors that I'm using. Some of you like these colors, others complain about them, but this way you can actually change and set your own colors. Now, the first thing you need to know is that you can always go to tools, theme, and over here you can change to a different theme. You can also download more themes by clicking on this thing here and it will open the theme marketplace. And over here you can download different themes. For example, this Marvel one, and there's a lot of different things. Maybe I'm going to look at these someday and actually change my own colors. But all you need to do is simply click on these and they're free and it's going to add this option for your colors. Again, tools, theme, get more themes. Obviously, you also have these built in, for example, the blue one. But these are basic things. And of course, I'm using the dark one, but I still have custom colors. So if you want to customize the colors of the exact element, you're simply going to click on tools, options, environment, fonts and colors. And over here you have all the different elements that you can find in an editor. So for example, you can see that my class colors are in orange. So all we need to do is scroll to the bottom. And yes, there is a lot of different elements, but you need to find the exact one. And if we find this, let's see, user types classes, you can see that it has this orange color. You can customize it. This is the exact color that I'm using. You can make it bold. You can change the font. You can change the size. And then you just go and you find all the different ones. For example, for the strings, you can see that my strings are yellow. You just scroll a bit up to S. And over here, you can see the color of the string. And of course, you need to go and find the rest. For example, let's say fields. My fields are white. I have these labels. I have enums. I have my constants. So most of them are white. My methods are blue, right? We can see it over here, like the start. So you can change, you can play around, you can download your own custom themes from the marketplace. But if you want to have this exact color theme, maybe it's easier for you to follow my tutorials if you have the same colors. I'm not going to actually go over all of these because most of them are not even relevant for my colors. What I'm going to do is to show you how you can import the settings that I'm using. So if we go to tools, import and export settings, you can actually export your settings or import other settings. For export, we simply click over here and all I want to do is export my color settings. I don't want to export the entire settings. Maybe you have your own settings, so I don't want you to replace all of your settings. I only want you to replace your color settings. So I click on export. You don't need to do this because I'm simply producing a file that you are going to import later. So now I'm going to export settings and I don't want to export all the settings. I'm going to disable this. I'm going to click on options, environment, and inside I'm going to find fonts and colors. I'm going to click on it, next. And then I need to decide what will be the name of the file. It's going to be stored in this path, okay? So I'm going to change the name to Mike Color Theme, okay? And I'm going to click on Finish, and now it's going to generate this file. Now I'm going to provide you this file in the description. You're going to download this file, and you can store it somewhere. And then 
all you need to do when you open your Visual Studio is click on Tools, Import Settings. This time you select Import, Next, and it will ask you to save your current settings. So if you want to save your current settings before you do this, maybe you're afraid that something is going to be messed up, you can save your current settings. But if you just want to import my settings, and again, it will be only the color settings. It will not affect the rest of your settings. So simply say, no, just import new settings. Next. And now you don't need to actually do anything. You simply need to browse and find the file that you just downloaded. So I have it over here, my color theme, and you click on open, next. It will show you that these are the only options that are going to be overwritten and finish. And now we don't see any change because I have the same colors, but let's see that it works. Let's, for example, go to options. Let's change the color of my classes to some kind of bluish. And now we can see that it looks different. So let's see if it actually works. Tools, import, import selected. I don't want to save. I'm going to find this file. Next, finish. And we can see that the colors changed to the ones that were saved in the file. So this way you can set this kind of theme. Of course, you can use other themes. You simply need to download the file and import it into Visual Studio. Now, I don't know, but maybe in the future, I'm going to stop using Visual Studio and I'm going to set up Visual Studio Code. I want to do this for a long time, but I'm just too lazy. Visual Studio Code is much lighter. It takes less resources. It looks a bit more modern. So I really like it for my other programming, but it takes some extra steps to actually set it up in Unity because you need to set up the auto-completion and the IntelliSense. So all of these things require some setup. If I ever decide to start using Visual Studio Code, I'm going to create a tutorial to explain to you exactly how to set it up, but eventually the code will stay the same. Maybe the way the interface looks will be different. So don't worry even if you don't want to move to Visual Studio Code. So that's all for this short tutorial. If you have any other requests for tutorials, let me know in the comment section. Please leave a like. If it was helpful, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time.